Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your NVIDIA graphic card for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I hope this guide helps you out to fix all of your lags and stutter and help you optimize your graphic card a perfect way. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is go over to your Chrome and look for GeForce Experience. This is the most important application over here. You have to download it for your PC. And once you're done with that, open up GeForce Experience. Once you're in the application, head over to the drivers section and then click on these three dots and then select game ready drivers. You will then see latest game ready driver on your PC, which is 565.90 as of today. Make sure to download and install that if this is not already installed on your PC. It helps you to optimize your graphic card to perform well while you are playing the games, render the new applications and the new graphics easily. Once you're done with that, minimize this application and now head over to Microsoft Store. Once you're in the store, simply look up for NVIDIA Control Panel. Over here, you have to download and open this thing up. Okay, once you're in the NVIDIA Control Panel, head over to Adjust Image Settings with Preview and then click on Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings. After that, head over to Take Me There and then go over to Program Settings. Then click on the Add button over here and then click on the Browse button. Once you're in the download location, head over to sparkingzero.exe and then click on open. Once you have added that, follow these settings. Image scaling, turn this thing on. And then set the sharpening to 50%. You can also go up to 60% as it is completely safe. Once it is done, click on OK. Anisotropic filtering, set this thing to 2x. Anti-aliasing should be turned off. Gamma correction should be turned on. Anti-aliasing mode, set this into application controlled. Anti-aliasing setting should be set to application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency should be turned off. Background application max frame rate should be turned on and should be set to 30 FPS. CUDA GPU should be set to all. Sysmem fallback policy should be set to driver default. Low latency mode should be turned to ultra. Max frame rate should be turned off. Monitor technology, if you have a monitor that is compatible with G-Sync, you can keep it on. Otherwise, you can keep it off. MFAA should be turned off. Open GDL GDI compatibility, set this thing to prefer performance. Open GL rendering GPU, set this thing to your native graphic card. Power management mode, set this thing to prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate should be set to highest available. Texture filtering, you have to set this thing to off. Negative LOD bias should be set to clamp. Texture filtering quality, set this thing to quality. If you have a low end PC or a low end graphic card, you can go with performance. Trilinear optimization should be turned on. Threaded optimization should be turned on. Triple buffering should be turned off. Vertical sync should be turned off. And leave the rest as it is. Once you're done with that, click on apply. Then head over to configure surround and physics. And over here, select the processor to your native graphic card. Then, under the display section, go over to adjust desktop color settings. Set your digital vibrance a little bit over 60% and then click on apply. This will make your colors more saturated and help you to improve the visibility and help you enjoy the game. Then head over to the video settings and then over here you have to click on adjust video color settings. For your primary monitor and your secondary monitor if you have it, go with the NVIDIA settings and then head over to the advanced tab and set the dynamic range to full if that is available for your monitor. This will boost your blacks and improve your visibility and also your colors. Once you're done with that, close your NVIDIA control panel. Another advice that I can give you with the NVIDIA control panel is pressing your Alt and Z key together and this will open up GeForce Experience overlay in front of you. Head over to the performance tab and then scroll a little bit down and you will find in performance tuning. You have to enable automatic tuning and then click on agree and continue. This will do a short scanning on your PC and it will automatically help you to overclock your graphic card. If in any case this causes your game to crash or not open, you can come back over here and turn this thing off and that should be perfectly fine. It will reset all of the values and that should be it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search or create a restore point on your PC. Once you're in system properties, scroll down to your local disk C, click on create and name it DBZ so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is the DB Sparking Zero and Video Optimization Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this thing up and this is the most recommended and important step over here. First one is the DBZ Sparking Zero Priority in which I have left high priority and normal priority. Once again, I recommend you guys to double click and use the high priority for your PC. And if you face any kind of FPS drops, 
can go with the normal priority right over here. Second one is GPU optimization and this is mainly targeting your Nvidia graphic card. This will help you to enable your Nvidia SFIO high priority and disable energy driver and power throttling, allowing your GPU to consume more power and optimize the performance while you're playing the games. Go back to the batch tweaks and over here you'll find BCD tweaks, memory compression and process mitigation. BCD tweaks will help you to reduce your input latency, memory compression will help you to reduce your RAM usage and process mitigation will help you to reduce your CPU usage and processes running in the background. All three of them are general PC optimizations and it will also help you to optimize your PC which leads to better performance of your graphic card as well. I highly recommend you guys to run every single one of them as administrator. I have already done them and all that does is basically run a few commands on your PC which you do not have to type in manually. It is automatically performed. You guys can open them in notepad to ensure they are doing everything correctly for your peace of mind. Go back and last one is power plan settings and over here I have left ultimate performance power plan. You have to right click in this as administrator. I have already done it. Once you're done with that, head over to power plans and this will open up control panel in front of you. You have to find ultimate performance which should be automatically added and ultimate performance will be available over here. Click on that and this will be optimizing your power plan. Basically optimizing all of the resources and components of your PC to consume more power and improve the performance. Once that is done, close the NVIDIA optimization pack and now you guys can drop into the game to enjoy the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we are really close to 200 000 subscribers and i really appreciate your support we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out